On Sunday, India's defense scientists achieved a historic and dare I say stupendous milestone. They tested and successfully tested a hypersonic missile, making India only the fourth country in the world to have that technology and the ability. The three uh, other countries which have the uh, ability to uh, not only test but manufacture and uh, also uh, conceptualize a hypersonic missile are China, Russia and the United States. India becomes only the fourth country in the world, not even France or Israel, another uh, two countries, other two countries which are supposed to be defense powerhouses have this ability. So that's uh, really to put it in perspective that India has achieved a major milestone in, uh, in defense uh, technology. What is a hypersonic missile? To just give you an idea, a hypersonic missile travels at uh, five at least five times the speed of sound or to put it other way it travels at the speed of 1.5 kilometers a second it's tremendous speed which uh, makes this missile once finally validated tested and perfected uh, almost un un unintercepted and what is uh, the beauty of it is that it flies at a low altitude no radar uh, or very few radars, maybe we don't know what the abilities that other countries have. Radars can detect it. It can actually travel and the test, according to the uh, official press release issued by the DRDO or the Ministry of Defense, says that uh, this missile will be capable of carrying different warheads, uh, both uh, nuclear and non-nuclear, and uh, go beyond 1500 kilometers. Very cleverly and very strategically, the uh, press release does not say what is the final range to which this missile has been tested. Beyond 1500 kilometers can be even 5000 kilometers, we don't know. Because that's the target that India would have if it has to give a deterrence to the Chinese military planners. Because uh, to reach or to sort of hit a target inside China, main, China's mainland on the eastern seaboard of China, you require a range of at least four to 5,000 kilometers. But we will come to that uh, much later. How is a hypersonic missile different from a ballistic missile? A ballistic missile, which again, India has a lot of expertise on it. Uh, some of it has been, some of them have been inducted into the Indian Armed Forces. It is different because a ballistic missile, once fired, goes on a set trajectory. Whereas uh, the hypersonic missile will have or has the ability to be maneuvered mid-course. Once the flight is uh, taken off, uh, it can be uh, again redirected to another target. If the target has moved or if the target has been uh, recalibrated, then uh, it can be maneuvered. Now, that's a very difficult technology to master. It requires communication, which is super fast. It requires sensors, which can pick up these communication or commands from the command center. So, therefore, India has done this, um, uh, I mean, the test very successfully, according to the uh, press release. All the parameters have been met. Of course, like I said, it will take at least another three to four years to uh, get uh, more testing done, more uh, perfection brought into it before it can be productionized, manufactured and then inducted into the Indian Armed Forces. The uh, hypersonic missiles have two different versions. One is the hypersonic uh, uh, glide vehicle. Uh, and the other is the hypersonic cruise missile, which uses scramjet uh, for its uh, maneuverability or for its trajectory, the speed which, uh, with which it travels. And finally, uh, they need to have, like I said, precise control and um, also make sure that the uh, ability, and uh, make sure that the ability of the command and control uh, center is then translated onto the missile. Of course, uh, uh, Rajnath Singh, India's defense minister, has also called this achievement uh, historic as well as stupendous. Those are the two words that I borrowed from his statement. Um, like I mentioned, uh, this is early days, but to have this successfully tested is a feather in the cap of the defense scientist, of the Defense Research and uh, Development Organization. And of course, other Indian companies and other Indian partners who would have contributed to this entire development. Uh, don't forget that 17 November is an historic day in India's journey for 
जर्नी और क्वेस्ट फॉर सेल्फ रिलायंस इन डिफेंस आई एम नितिन गोख